Hi there, this is Kathy Crow at the Crow Cottage. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to say that. Okay, let's see, with, okay, I don't wanna do that. It always shows this thing on here. I guess I just have to ignore it while it's going. So today I am very excited, gonna be able to do that sweet succulent thing with us. It's gonna be a good one. And um, this is actually, I'm using a design that was, uh, I'm, well, I'm using the coloring for sweet succulents. This is simply succulents, not sweet. <laughs> I'll have to change my label. It is simply succulents. They always have to do everything with alliteration. Are you the only, am I the only one that gets a little tired of that pattern? I mean, it's helpful at first to remember the titles, but then after you've been in this for several years, all the time, sweet, simple, you know, sweet, suffering succotash. <laughs> anyway, enough whining. So I am using the coloring for the actual succulents. Hi, Andy. It's nice to see you. I'm going to use the coloring from a demonstrator called Tammy Hewlett. Now, if you like what you see, go and see her sample because it'll, it'll probably be better. <laughs> it was really good. Um, and I do want to tell everybody, remind you that the new catalog is opening up tomorrow. Tomorrow is a wonderful day to join Stampin' Up! Because if you join us, you'll get to be part of our wonderful team. It's very fun. All kinds of fun things. Tomorrow we're going to do, I should have brought my sample over. Tomorrow we're going to have our team meeting and I make up a cute project. And I try to make it something fun that they wouldn't normally do. Like, a, you know, a, a fancy card or a fancy fold card or a box or something. And then I, what I did, because I was all wrapped up in this moving thing, I wasn't getting things to people in time to actually get our, I was having to delay our team meetings by a week or so. So I just shipped out six months of it to people so that I'd be all set until I'm settled a little bit where we're going. So anyway, we get to do that. So please join our team next um I think tomorrow is the date when you get one month, you can buy, you can buy up to $155 worth of Stampin' Up! stuff for just $99. You do not have to stay in. If you don't ever want to do anything else, that's perfectly fine. So, but I, I think you'll want to. It's pretty fun. You get a discount, you know, what's lots of great deals. Anyway, I love it. It's been, it's helped me keep my weight off because I do this instead of eating at night while watching TV with my husband. All right. So when I move, I am looking to see where am I going to be taking all of my cards. I know we'll find a church there that I'll be able to jump into another probably similar situation, but I don't necessarily want to do exactly what I'm doing here. It's kind of nice to have a, a, have a reset. Jeff and I are thinking this is going to be kind of like a reset for us. Uh, he'll be retired. We'll have more time together. I'm sure we'll drive each other nuts, and um, we will find our own little ways to deal with it. <laughs> and it'll be fine. We've always gotten along really, really well. So I think we're going to enjoy it a lot and there will be transition and all. But this uh, moving to a new place is going to actually help us through that, I believe. And it just definitely seems to be what God wants us to do. He just keeps opening wonderful doors for us. Now, today it is windy again. What is it, Andy, with this wind? I was just getting ready to go out on a bike ride and I saw it's picked up again. If I don't get out on the bike instantly, my brief window of no wind is gone. This has just been a very windy spring. So I'm hoping maybe later this afternoon I can get out because it's so nice out there. My garden is looking so beautiful. You'll have to head on over to my Tri-City Crow Garden page. I haven't put it up. I haven't put anything recent up because we had our, our family visiting and I was enjoying spending time with our little um, granddaughter instead of out there, you know, weeding and fertilizing and pruning and such, but, or even just sitting. I do a lot of just sitting out there and absorbing it is so beautiful. My clematis, I've got, I don't know, one, two, from my window here, here I can see one, two, three, four. Um, I've got four on this side. Oh, there's another fifth, five, and six on this side. And then there's two on the other side that are blooming. Oh, they and they're all different. Well, they are all different varieties. A couple of them are dark purple, so they look the same. And I've got two white ones in two different places, so I can't really count them as different. But 
Okay, enough chit chat. Let's get on with the show. I think I know what I'm doing today. So I'm going to put the ca camera down. My camera's been acting fussy. Oh, it survived that. Wonderful. I never know if it's going to really, really take the turn. It has to turn and and shift and it doesn't always do that very well. So see if I can get everything in there in place so I'm not looking at my belly or my feet and you can see, ah, there we go. You can see my whole, whole little board. Now I've got my, I could just use this, but boy, the glare just sometimes is not happy about it. And then all this white, it's, it's all having lights on everything. I, I have to have lights on but on the other hand, I kind of need it to bounce off the ceiling and down because there, maybe that will be a bit better. We'll see. All right, let me adjust this one too to maybe give me a little, little better light where I want it. All right, so sweet succulents, you are so, so cute. What I did is I decided, um, so again, her name is Tammy Hewlett, and the she did, um, she took the uh, succulent, um, she took this, and she used it as, uh, oh, thank you, Andy, you like my nails? I, my daughter and I had fun doing our nails together while she was here, that was fun. <laughs> Yeah, nice to have a daughter to do these things with, you know. Um, at any rate, um, Tammy used this to cut out a piece, and then she used it as a um, as a template to use that paste to make a background. Well, so when I saw what I thought she had done is uh, I thought she had used the, uh, the we have some impression mats supposedly to help you make turn these into embossing folders instead of cutting, you know, a cutting tool. Now, I have seen people try it and they're not doing it right clearly because it cuts their impression mat. Obviously, it can't be done that way. I've practiced with an impre what I thought was an impression mat. I didn't run mine all the way through. I just tested it and could see it was going to cut it. Uh, so I, I just decided I didn't know what I was doing and quit. And didn't care enough to find a solution to that because, frankly, I have so many embossing folders that I can find one that's a substitute. But I really liked this, and having this as an as a embossed piece would be really cool. So I'd like to be able to know how to do it. I took some extra cardstock because I've accidentally done that before when I just didn't have my sandwich layer correct and it didn't press it hard enough. And so, you know, I used some cardstock to get a shim going and layered it up so it would cut one piece, but it wouldn't cut the next piece. You know what I'm talking about, right? So I could get an impression. The trouble is it does not act as an, emb an embossing folder. Okay, an embossing folder has many spaces that are wide, that are raised or concave, whichever way you turn, you know, whichever way you want it. And you're never going to have that with something like this. This has only tiny, tiny lines. It's not ever going to really work. What it did is it just gave me impressions. It did not give me a, especially now we've got these 3D. This one's not even a 3D one, but we've got those 3D impre uh, em embossing folders that make them really thick. So, Anyway, I'm just going to say uh, the impression mat, I would waste, would not waste your money on it until you find somebody who, anyway, who knows what they're doing. Maybe, maybe somebody can do it well, but I decided I don't want to do that. The paste thing is cool, but I don't want to take the time in a video to do the paste thing. And she had used those ombre uh, papers. I think she'd used it from the celebration offer that we had before where there was ombre, but... I thought let's use our Butterfly Brilliance. We've got some really nice um, ombre stuff happening with our Butterfly Brilliance papers. Okay, there's a few. There's not, not a ton, but there's a few. Or even if they're not ombre, they've got, you know, a nice pattern. So I took this particular one. And I embossed it with this. Now this folder is because I wanted to mimic this, the uh, succulent leaves, and they're you know they're kind of 
oval and pointed at the end. So um, I dragged out my layered leaves embossing folder. I think this is like from two years ago. This means it's retired and it was a long time ago. Um, and I just, I'm going to use it anyway. I'm using, I've decided I am going to make sure I get more retired things in every week because there's no sense in not using your retired things. You've got them. They're nice. Uh, unless you never liked it much in the first place, don't get rid of it. Use it. <laughs> so anyhow, I've got a couple of pieces going here because I like the effect so much, but I'm going to make two cards. I also thought, well, let's see how it looks if you ink your case. So I took the embossing folder and I used, um, I actually used um, a Spectrum rainbow pad that had some yellows in, to orange and then there was green on the end, but I didn't use the green. There's a teeny, teeny bit of the green kind of sneaking in there. I tried to just use the yellow portions, but you could do the same thing with just your ink pads and use a brayer and you could brayer on some, onto this, you could brayer on some mango melody and pineapple punch and, uh, you know, maybe that papaya, that papaya we've got is, that's the new one coming out tomorrow is really nice. So, and I could have gotten the same effect on white paper, you know, white cardstock. I ran that through and that's pretty cool, but this is not what we're going to do today. I'm just kind of showing you what options I kind of came up with when I was thinking about what to do. We're going to go ahead with this one. It's giving me that, it's actually clouds. Kind of nice morning sunrise clouds. Love that. We're going to go with that. And I am going to trim that down. And then I already cut out of Calypso Coral this piece with the die. I'll have to trim the edges. Um, and obviously, uh, if I'm using this, I won't be using this too. Uh, I'm going to use one or the other. <laughs> so when I was doing this, her design was not embossed, but I liked it so much, I thought, I'm going to do that. Anyway, we're going to see which one the succulent looks best on. But I want to show you how I colored the succulents. That's mainly what this video is about, is coloring the succulents. So we're going to give it a go. I'm going to stick it right here. This is the one that we're going to get up to. Uh, we're going to get get to that one here in just a minute. I'm going to just start right here and now. All right, I think what we'll do, I use Calypso Coral for the, the dye that I cut that out, and I think that's going to be a color we'll stick with. We'll see what other colors we come up with as we go. All right, one other thing I need to do. I sort of forgot about our drawing. Now, I'm not going to be doing our drawings anymore because my shipping and handling has just made this not doable, not tenable. So I hope you enjoy this, Andy. This is the last drawing I'm going to do. I might do one, uh, you know, here and there, but I've decided I am not going to do them weekly anymore. I just, I can't, um, I can't afford to be paying. Shipping and handling is just making it a, an impossibility. I, I could, I suppose, do something other than... Um, you know, a $5 thing, but I want to do $5. It's fun. Oh, Freddie, you won. Congratulations, Freddie. All right. So Freddie is getting the last one and, um, we'll see what other thing I come up with. I need to come up with something cause I actually enjoy doing that, but I got to come up with something that I can, my business can sustain. It's not sustainable. <laughs> All right, probably because too many of you people are demonstrators and you have your own orders going. And actually, that's not bad. I kind of like having demonstrators watching here with me because they are the ones that know what's going on. And then you guys can tell me when things are in the catalog or when it's retired or not because I've forgotten. All right, so today, again, new catalog is out. Oh, Andy. Did you see the new catalog comes out tomorrow? So make sure you're all ready, all ready to make your purchase. Don't don't delay. Things are gonna go fast, I'm sure. And uh, but did you see Frenchy Frenchy? You know, France Martin Frenchies. Um, after the storm, I think she's doing a class with it. 
And uh, so some of the samples she had out there that she's gonna do looked really, really cool. When I saw that, when I saw that um, stamp set after the storm, I knew that's one of the first ones I'm gonna be buying. It's gonna go really well with so many of our favorites. Sailing home, all the high tide, uh, the whale stuff, the, the, all the other fish things. Um, actually, I just did this with black, and I don't want black, so I'm going to have to clean that off. That's not what I'm using. Why did I think I was using that? We could, but we're not going to. We're going to use something else, so let's clean that off. Anyhow, it looked like um, she did something really cool with the sun that's in that set. So if you haven't seen it, go to Pinterest. I'm Actually, I didn't save it yet because she's just advertising her class, so I don't think she has card samples that I could save um, to my Pinterest. But I will be as soon as she gets those up there because they were really cool. All right, so here are our in colors. We've got brand new Evening Evergreen. Um, we have Pale Papaya. Very nice. I'm not going to get these all out. I'm mainly today going to be using our and I'm not going to use the ink. I'll be using the blending pens for these, but Pale Papaya and Evening Evergreen. Oh, and Mint Macaron. I'm going to use that too. But that's not a new one. Oh, you sent the collected coupon order? Oh, awesome, Andy. Excellent. Good. So yours is, I have yours and one other that's going to come in. And there might still be some that'll sneak in here. So that'll be good. I kind of owe Andy anyway, because she gave me some Copic pins. <laughs> so Andy, whatever the deal is, it's all good. I kind of forgot that I owed you for that. All right. So here we go. Evening, evening evergreen. Okay, we're going to stamp this in that. And... Let's turn it, not waste my paper too much here. Andy, um, yeah, I thought you wanted to wait. I didn't think you were ready to do that order yet. I thought you wanted to, I don't remember why you wanted to wait, but you were, you said you were going to wait because um, I'd said I was going to place an order like, and I will be, I'll be placing an order tomorrow. See for Andy, now this was the confusion. For Andy, she lives here, and she can pick up her order from my house, so I don't have to send it to her and pay the 15 to $20 shipping and handling, because depending on what you order and how, you know, how much of it is in there, it could, it could cost me 20 bucks to mail to you, and if, whether I get it or Stampin' Up! just sends it to you, same thing, could, it definitely will be $15. I don't think I've ever had them mail anything to me that didn't at least cost $15, even for just a little embossing folder. It just, um, maybe I'm wrong on that. Maybe that was cheaper, but I'm thinking not. Now we want the little pot too. So let's go ahead and do the little pot. Ah, I've got to move my light a little bit here. You're right in the way of my drawer. The, I'm is the snail set the pens were get, oh psh, Andy I know I know I know that and thank you very much but I do feel like oh well I should have Andy has coupons she has a bunch of coupons and um I anyway I want to make sure that <laughs> I'm I want to make sure I take care of you all right we are gonna do we better just do not move, mess around here I think for this pot I did early espresso but it, it wouldn't have hurt to do it in black. So we'll just go ahead with black on this one. That Evening Evergreen's a very dark ink, isn't it? I'll bet to you, it probably almost looks black. Now you can see, is there any difference? Well, yes, there is, but it is very slight. It's a dark ink. So I'm not sure how much I'm actually gonna be using that one. We'll just find out. Evening Evergreen. I hope it's a good ink that doesn't get yucky. The ones that I don't open very much are the ones that are really irritating when I open it up and realize, shoot, I haven't even hardly used you, and you've got these weird mold bumps all over them. I'm hoping that in our new place, it won't, I won't have that issue as much. 
I don't know. I'm thinking we will because it's a damper environment than here. This is a very dry, very dry state, and I'm not talking about the liquor. <laughs> All right. So, well, it's dry on this side of the state, isn't it? It's pretty wet on the other side. I couldn't say that on the west side. All right, here we go. Now we're going to color. So I'm going to stop chattering quite so much so we can see what we're doing here. I love the way she did this. It's so cute. All right, we're going to turn it right side up. And I'm going to actually use this one. I'm not, you're not going to have to sit here and watch me the whole time. This is why I, I did one and then cut it out. I thought, well, I won't torture you with making you watch every single little shading thing. But I, um, I'm going to start it. And then... I'll use this one and we'll finish off. I'll finish off on my own so that you don't have to have to bear it. Okay, let me make sure I've got everything I need. I think those are the only ones I'm using, but I'm going to grab out my pineapple punch. You're my favorite one that's gone. Not here, but gone. gone. I should have bought several of those because I really like pineapple punch. All right, so let's see here. Make sure my lights are good. Make sure we can see everything well. I saw some really big, uh, one really big snail out in the garden. I Last fall, I put tons of slug bait out just to try to get rid of that whole population that was thriving out there. And mm, I did. Got rid of them for that, but they are always, they they lay so many eggs. I assume they're eggs. I don't really know the life cycle of a snail or a slug, but whatever they lay, they were a bunch. Little teeny tiny ones starting up, but there was still a really big one I saw on a, on a big leaf munching away. So I went down and got one bag, one pretty good sized bag and spread that all out. Hopefully it took care of them because when we sell this place, I would like, I would like the new owners to not immediately have to do all these things they might not think about. All right. So what we're going to start with is we're going to start with um, mint macaron. I've got mint macaron. I've got just jade, the new um, soft succulent. I've got some balmy blue and pale papaya, okay? But we're gonna start with the um, light, the light mint macaron, right? Yep, there it is. Okay, so this is gonna be the big one. Oops, I've got it upside down. This is the top. Let me do this really quick, just to make it easier for me, so I don't color my pot accidentally, you know, just carelessly. All right. All right, here we go. So mint macaron. So I'm going to just go ahead and do a very big sweep across. Actually, I just did something I didn't want to do. I want to leave those tips white. So I, all the tips I'm going to leave white. And, and I, you know, should have wasn't really catching on there. It's not going to matter because they're not going to stay white. But it does help if you want a spot that's very light in color. Don't color it initially. Just leave it white. Now in the center, this is all going to get colored. But do you see there are these spots in the center that are very raised? They're 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 going to be really bright, brighter light. So I'm going to try not to color those spots. Okay, so we'll leave those white. And this one also is going to be mint macaron, so we're going to do the same with this one. Okay, now I'm just trying to figure out now how much of this am I going to do because I don't want to want to do the whole thing. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the dark one, but the bullet tip part. And we're gonna go in on the bottoms a little more carefully. Get a little more color in there. The thing about these blending pens is that even somebody like me who's not at all skilled in watercoloring can have the joy of some watercoloring without the 
like I said, lack of skill, but or, or, or without the skill, I've got lack of skill for sure, but also just for me, it's the fussiness too of some of that stuff. I don't wanna wait for something to dry. It's like, okay, yeah, the watercolor's really pretty, but how long do you have to wait for that sucker to dry before you can actually put it into a car? Oh, that's way too much time for me, which is funny because, um, you know, other people say, oh, I'm not gonna color like that. That's taken way too much time. And I'm thinking, what? What do you mean taking away too much time? It's just all a matter of, per of personality, what you can stand, I guess, what you can take. All right, so now we're going back with this light one again. And because I want it to blend, I'm gonna go a little bit stronger with it around the edges of the dark that I just put in. Okay. It's got a nice little squeak sound to it, just like a cute, cute little squeak, squeak like a little hamster or something, not a mouse, something cute. A little squeak, squeak, squeak. I love that sound. If you're a, a sound a phobe, <laughs> that might be just enough to drive you nuts. So I hope not. Okay, got that. Now I don't have to squeak anymore because now I can take the big end, again, of the light one, and we're gonna just do a nice little wash over the whole thing. Because I really do want the tips to be green. I don't really want them white. Although you could have left them white and they probably look okay. But I really do want it to be just green. And what I'm doing, this process, I would have done on this one too. I'm gonna just kinda Guess I better, I have to, because I forgot I've got to do the papaya on that. So I kind of have to do the process there too. All right, so we will, we will do it. Let's see, grab the dark one. I'll try not to squeak so much. Squeak. Our little granddaughter is so cute. Oh, I know everybody's granddaughter's perfect, but I'm still thinking mine really is. Anyway, she was so fun, but she didn't sleep much. Her mother would never sleep anywhere outside of her own little crib. So it was kind of, ha, ha, ha. So sorry, Mary, that you were getting to experience exactly what our life was like. It was a very sweet thing, I have to admit, in a kind of a not not nice way to see her in so many ways. Her daughter's got quite the personality, <laughs> just like our daughter did. She was really delightful because I'm actually, although you wouldn't know it, listening to me jabber like this, I'm kind of a shy person, actually. It's like, oh, sure you are. Well, it's true. So our daughter uh, was, uh, I was happy to let her always just take the show, you know, and just say and do and be this, be the entertainment uh, wherever we went. And she's got a daughter that's going to be happy to do that too. And she's pretty, pretty cute. We really enjoyed having her. And, you know, dad is very entertaining too. Neither one are wallflowers, that's for sure. So it was, it was fun seeing that happen. Transport, trans, transported back in time, sort of just our life with Mary and, and growing up. Okay, now these are our pale papaya. Um, I could, I started with the light one because I wasn't really sure how it was going to go, but I ended up just needing the dark one anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and do the dark one and I'm just doing all of the tips. Really just the tip because I'm going to use that light one to blend it in a little bit more, but I want to get all these little tips just for this one. Now, if I was gonna do the whole thing, I'd be doing this one too, and this one, and this one. All these three up here are done the same way. Only with a, I used just jade. I guess I'll have to do one, because I used just jade instead of um, mint macaron on that one. Anyway, so she didn't sleep. Boy, she sure is a trooper for some little, For she's only seven months. For a little seven-month-old who wouldn't sleep any nap, I don't think she had a decent nap while she was here. Um, she did nap. She fell asleep in the car every time because she was exhausted, you know, but she was so happy and pleasant. Even, 
even, you know, so, so tired, not at all crabby. That's the way our daughter was. She was so, so happy all the time. It's like, oh, my goodness. So other people couldn't understand why I was so strict about keeping her on her sleeping schedule. It's like, well, she's happy with you and us in this setting because things are happening, and she's a happy child. But I'm going to get this girl home, and she's going to be a bear because she's never she's going to be overtired, and it's really hard to get her to sleep once that happens. So it was fun seeing them live under, under that for a little bit, and I'm not happy for them to have to suffer, of course, but... Oh well, so this is just jade, and I'm gonna start with the dark one this time because these leaves are gonna be quite dark. And I'm only gonna do one, don't need to do all of them. So we'll go ahead and just do this one right here. Now, you know, I know you know it because you've been doing this quite a bit, and so you know it just as well as I do. The theory is that what's closest to the light is going to be lighter in color. So that still doesn't help me very much if I'm, you know, just not really sure what would be closer to the light. But I'm going to just go ahead and tell you it doesn't really matter. Just make a stab at it. And as you practice, you're going to get better at figuring that stuff out. Plus, to a great, it is an art. Remind yourself, this is an art. That means it's subjective. It's not a science. It's not perfect. So there's room for accidents and room for me to be wrong and then figure out later, ah, I didn't really like that. So I'm going to do it a little different next time. So just don't, don't be fearful. Just practice. Really, that's the best thing. I always, every time I, well, you saw me last Friday make a complete fool of myself in a sense, although I didn't really care because... Um, I didn't color things well. It, it happens. Happens to everybody. I'm not very good at many things, so um, I don't do these things ahead of time very much. So it's like, well, this is what happens when you're practicing. So you get to see it. And I don't really have um, any reason to hide that from you. I want, I want you to see that it's perfectly fine, and generally I can salvage it. Last week's I could salvage. It just wasn't wasn't my favorite, but it wasn't too bad. And it's kind of good to see, oh, okay. I didn't really like what she did there, but I see how she fixed it, and so that could be useful. You'll have, I'm sure, time to practice fixing your own mistakes too. It happens to everybody. All right, so now we've got that done. Now, isn't that cute? I think the thing I liked about her design the most is what's coming next. Okay, so we finished with our papaya and our Just Jade and the mint macaron. While we the kids were here, we ate out a ton, Andy. It was so, so yummy. I loved it. I didn't gain any weight. I didn't eat very much any other time. I just made myself not eat any other time. All right, so soft succulent is what we're going to start with. And we'll go ahead with the light one. Now, this time we're going to start on the tips. We're going to just, I'm going to go ahead and do these and this. The, these are the ones, and I'll just do one of these. Okay, so the tips are going to be light, but they're not, they don't need to be quite so light. So I'm going to go ahead and just color the whole thing in. Let's use the bigger end to get it going faster with the soft succulent. Okay. We ate at the Atomic Ale, and I'd forgotten how delicious that red potato soup is. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's really good. Oh, so good. It reminded me, and when we were in Missouri, we went to a place called uh, mm, Galloway Grill, and, oh, it had wonderful soup. I don't even really remember what soup I had while I was there, but, oh, so delicious. All right, now these guys are going to be this color, too. So we're going to go ahead with the bigger one. And I'm just going to do this one bigger one. I love these succulents. Succulents are really easy to grow. You can have a lot of success with them. That was the light, so now we're gonna go ahead with the dark. 
and we're going to radiate from the bottom of each petal up. Not a ton, because you're going to need some blending space going on here. Then we went to, we didn't, our son-in-law is of Hispanic descent. So we did not go to a Mexican place because although we like the Mexican food here, eh, it's pretty substandard to him, I think. He's always polite. He's always super, super polite and never says anything. But I know, I can tell. Because he takes us to places when we're in uh, California. Oh my goodness. We're talking authentic food, and it's f much better than any place I've ever been in anywhere in Washington State. Now, when we were in Missouri, we did find a place that was good for us. It was called, um, oh, it was called Ho Jose Loco. <laughs> it was good, really good. I don't know how authentic it was, but it was delicious. Oh, you haven't eaten that the atomic ale, Andy? Oh, we'll have to go there before I leave town, okay? Here's the deal. When you come to pick up whatever it is I get for you, we are going out to eat, okay? <laughs> Does that sound good? It's really good. They have great food there. Um, all right, so I'm using balmy blue, and I'm going to use the dark one because I want this to have blue in it. That's, that's what makes this look so cool. I'm not sure if she used Balmy Blue or Night of Navy, but I could tell there was some blue in her coloring. It was really pretty. And the Balmy Blue really does blend nicely with any of our, our blends. So you can get something quite nice. So I'm just going right over what I just did and into the lighter part of that succulent a little bit to give it a little bit of a blue tint. Hint, a hint of blue. It's really not our pretty peacock color. Uh, you might be thinking, well, that's very similar to pretty peacock, but it actually is not. Um, it's not quite that green. And now we'll get our, um, I think I'm going to pull out our mint macaron, the light one, because I want to make sure these ends are not too, too dark. So now when I'm blending with this, it's actually going to lighten that up a bit because this one's a little lighter than that succulent. And I'm staying away from the very tip. want it to stay bright, brightish you get what I mean. And then for me, if I really wanted it to be lighter, I would probably take a little white gel pen. Okay, so that's good. I didn't need a lot there. And just imagine all of it done like that. Now, if you take a gel pen, don't use your number 10. You know, use a number eight. And then if you really wanted to, like I flubbed there, so we'll get rid of that little flub. But you could, let me think here, where would we want it? I don't really want it too much here. If you do it at all, you're going to want to put a take a little of it off just to lighten it up. And yes, you can use the white, the colorless color lifter thing. But I've not had a lot of success with the color lifter. It's just too slow for me. I... I I, I've got to I've got to have results faster and um, and it does work I have used it it's just like it's uh, it takes forever and you do have to keep cleaning your tip a lot you know it's just too much nuisance for me all right now with the pot we're going to get cinnamon cider Yes, cinnamon cider. Let's start with the light colored one. We're just going to color the whole thing with the light color. Doesn't matter if it's not perfect because, of course, this is going to get cut out anyway. And then we're going to take the dark bullet tip 
and just make it a little darker here and there. And outline. And then just a tiny bit on this side, just a little bit, not a ton. A little more on the bottom. Okay, like that. And then we can take our light one again and just kind of wash that in. Okay. And sort of a rinse and repeat sort of thing. But just not going as far. Just a little more dark on the side. Just a little. Okay, and right in there. Maybe right under there. Okay, now the other thing that you can do if you want to lighten it up, take your pineapple punch. I suppose another yellow might work, but this is light pineapple punch. And then I can just, this actually in a kind of a nice way takes off some color. Now you want to make sure you've cleaned off any anything you got there, but you see what I'm saying? Kind of can give it a little bit of patina on your pot. I hope you can see that. All right, that is that. Now we're gonna take my cutouts so I don't have to do any cutting out. That doesn't need to be done. I'll just hide these and I'll put, in fact, I'll just slide them in here with my butterflies and I'll use them later. Maybe I'll even use them today and we'll see how quick this card goes together. We need to pull us up a little bit now that we're all done with the coloring bit. All right, so I am the one thing, oh, at in Missouri, the Waffle House. The Waffle House had uh, hash brown bowls, crunchy hash brown bowls. Can you believe it? Oh, sounds good. I didn't have one because I was having something sweet, of course. <laughs> um, and Jeff even didn't have it. I was shocked. He loves hash browns, but there were so many things on that menu that he wanted that he didn't even do it. Okay, so we're going to trim this up. Okay, that's pretty good. I think that's actually good enough. Just to make sure that's... Believe that? That is so rude. So tiresome. Okay. So, oh, it's so pretty. I do like that. It's nice. All right, so let's go ahead and measure this just to see what we've got. We've got four and an eighth, it looks like by five and a half-ish. Okay, do I want this with an edge or do I want it just right to the edge? Hmm, I think I want an edge. So we're gonna make this a little bit fatter. Let's go this direction. Do I want, probably want more yellow than orange. Okay, so we'll turn it this way. Get more yellow on there. And we'll go four and three eighths. And we'll go five. Let's keep that orange on there. This is six, let's go five and three quarters. Now we'll see what that looks like. Oh, I lost my, my blade. Now usually my cutting blade doesn't fall out. Oh, that wasn't my cutting blade. I was gonna say, usually my cutting blade doesn't fall out. It's always the score tool that falls out. It's gone. I mean, it fell out and it, it rolled and ah, that's gonna be on the knees hunting time for that one. Okay. Oh, I'm glad it wasn't the cutting tool. Sheesh. I usually remove that and just stick it up here on the side so that doesn't happen, so. I'm not surprised. Okay, very good. This is good. I'm gonna like this. All right, so I think I could do dimensionals, but oh, that would be a lot of work. I think we won't do that. We'll just do glue. And 
and that'll be a lot easier. So my, we have uh, some friends who said, uh, who loved where we're moving. She said she has family all over there. Loves it, loves it, loves it. But she said there are chiggers in the grass. And I thought, yeah, I had, I've done my research. I know there are, because I'd read about that thinking, hmm, I think we're going to be paying for Sensky because <laughs> we're not having chiggers in the grass. That's for sure. But it did make me remember to think, you know, to I'm going to have to be a little careful, I suppose, some of my outdoor ramblings. I like to get right in the brush, you know, and there are snakes and chiggers. So I might not want to be getting so much right out in the brush. I got to remember I'm getting old here. I don't need to be hiking in the middle of nowhere anyway. I still want to, and I probably will, but actually Jeff has said he's going to do a lot of that with me. I think think we're going to be doing a lot of hiking that we haven't really had the chance to do because Jeff doesn't like doing it for one thing. So we'll just see. We'll see if he likes doing it versus sitting at home all by himself with nothing to do. So we'll, we'll find out. These are all the things we're going to find out after we get there. So it'll be entertaining, I'm sure. Okay. Not sure how close to the edge I can get. Da! No, don't shift on me. It's stuck to my hand. All right, very good. Now, it's not quite straight, but it's close enough. Because I can trim to make it more so. But that actually is pretty good. All right, so there we go. Very cute. Now, my ribbon. This is our pale papaya ribbon. I took some glue. I just cut a length of it. And then I took some glue dots and made these little ruffles. Okay, not perfectly. I need to sort of straighten this one out. This one needs some help. There we go. It's a little better. Might get another glue dot there because that looks like it needs, needs some more help. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the ice cream at Bronze Ice Cream Shop. I think that was the thing that impressed Jeff and I both the most. Just absolutely delicious. And they had like icy, he likes icy stuff. When we were at the yogurt shop at my Froyo this last Sunday, because we do that every Sunday after church, um, they had pineapple in there was their new flavor, pineapple with some other things, but pineapple, yum, yum, yum. So I had it and he had it. He said he was gonna get it. When I looked at his bowl, I said, well, I thought you were gonna get pineapple too. He said, no. When I got up there and looked at it, it's not, it's creamy. It's like, well, duh, it's good. It's delicious creamy, but he's he likes icy. So I was hoping it was gonna be icy. So anyway, all right, so we're gonna just put the, the ribbon like this and lay it on here okay I don't really even need it to go uh, over the the edge too much uh, if I want to though I can I think it's long enough let's see what it'll do oh good it is long enough we'll just wrap it around that'll make it a lot easier to place this here okay so let's go ahead and just do our glue dots I think I have bigger ones where are those those are the teeny tiny ones. I have so many adhesives all over the place. What are you? You must be teeny tiny too. So, um, you know, tear and tape will work. And it actually, for my purposes today, that might be best. So let's just grab tear and tape and lay that on. Let's see how far down we want it. I'm gonna put our little pot here. And our succulent is going to hang out there. Oops, it's going to be, yeah, that'll be fine. So right about where the ribbon is, is now. Just not in the middle, but a little bit below the middle. Oh, don't you like that papaya ribbon? It is really beautiful. I love it too. I'm going to really enjoy working with this papaya. It's a great color. It's a great color addition you know, to what we've had already, because um, a lot of the ones we have are kind of in that family. Anytime they come up with something that's a pale 
is, is I, I don't know, I really like it. You can make dark out of light, but you can't. <laughs> so if it starts out pretty light, you can make it darker by just stamping a lot and coloring it a lot. But if it's a really dark color, you can't peel that color off very well. Sort of as difficult as I am getting my tear and tape off here. Okay, now if you rub it really good, it stays on a lot better. I've discovered a lot of my issues with tear and tapes that I just don't rub it enough. I'm too impatient. All right, so we'll stick you there and we'll put another piece of tear and tape on top of you. Okay. Like that. All right, so we I have looked I looked online to see what are the what are the 9 or 8 or whatever their list was most common moving mistakes. Do you have any idea? There are some there's some obvious ones. Like one was people run out of money. <laughs> they don't realize how expensive it is. Yeah. It's expensive to move. You don't want to be doing it too often. So running out of money was probably one of the most common mistakes <laughs> when you're moving. Thankfully, um, we're not rich, but I, at this stage of life, that's not going to be quite nearly as much of an issue as it would have been when we were younger. <laughs> Another one is um, they don't research their moving company well enough, and so there are extra fees and things they don't know about. And um, we're not using a moving company, so I'm happy about that. Although, I guess even your truck that you're renting could be considered part of the moving company issue. Let's, let's look at our sentiments. Here's our little tag. It's pretty cute. Um, actually, her design had the word happy here and something else. I kind of forget. I, and I, I really liked the simple thing that she did, so I don't really want a big, fat tag hmm and I and none of these sentiments are really ringing true to me as in thanks is pretty good though let's just do a thanks you never know that could come in real handy sometime here so let's grab my scrap here and we'll just stamp in let's do um Let's do, oh, well, what do we, I want to pick up my blue and, ev, you know, evergreen or I guess that was just jade or no, soft succulent, that blue and soft succulent color. You know what? I can't do it because I'm not going to do, I do have, if I wanted to, I have not ordered the um, inks, but if you wanted to, you can order these uninked little stamp spots. Take a bit of your soft succulent ink and a bit of your balmy blue ink, and you could create that color if you wanted to. Now, if you're like me, though, and you've been collecting stamp pads for long enough, you're probably going to find something pretty close in your stash. So all I have to do is kind of look and see what have I got. We've got... Ooh... Marina Mist, I wrote Seaside Spray on there. That means it's almost exactly the same as that. I'm not really seeing. Oh, got Dapper Denim. Dapper Denim, let's just look at you and let's see how dark you are. That's pretty good. I think we'll go with that. So, Dapper Denim. I'll bet. Um, Probably Night of Navy would have been the same color or very close. But it is nice to, again, keep your own stuff. You've got, you've always got something handy. That's a close match. All right, so we've got our little thanks. And there are other little tags in here. Let's see where we are. Oops, I'm <laughs> I'm going to be on my knees for that one, too. I'm not going to worry about it right now because I'm already going to be on my knees for that embossing or that 
score tool. So this has some cute little tags. I love that. Oh, Freddie, I mailed off your your um, challenge stamp set. Freddie won this, this Simply Succulents, but Freddie, it doesn't have the dies. I'm just sending you the stamp set because I didn't have, I had only had the, the stamp set, not the dies. You're going to want these dies. They're cute. This is like a little stitched one. Isn't that sweet? Oh, it's so cute. So we're going to cut that out. Over here on the side, it's only going to take me a second. I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing it. I think I can do it pretty quick. There we go. All right, look at that. Thanks. All right. Put you back. Put you back. Put you back over here. All right, now we're ready to see how are we going to stick this tag. I could stick it right on. It's going to be like that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Off on the side. Maybe like that. What do you think? I'll look at... I'll wait, Andy. You tell me. Do we want... I'm going to give you options here. Okay? So, do we want the tag to go on the right? Or do we want the tag on the left? Okay, you get to decide. I'm going to wait. And let you let you pick while I'm looking at my cardstock. Cause I think I've got some cardstock right here. I just need to find my score tool to eh, instead of getting the score tool. Hi, Diana. Diana is voting for the right. It's nice to see you, Diana. Uh, Andy, unless you have a different opinion, you'll have to write quickly. I. I'm leaning off. Andy says on the right also. Good, ladies. Thank you, because that's where I wanted to put it. All right, so here we go. We'll put that on the right, and we're going to be about done. Okay, one of the other things they said about the um, moving issue is that people don't even get the right, they don't get enough insurance. Apparently, there's moving insurance, and I did not even know that. Did you know that? That you could get insurance for your move? Um, and mostly it's like if you have a um, big moving company, you know, that's going to come in and handle all of your stuff and they're going to move your stuff from one part of the country to the other. You get insurance so that they, if they ruin anything, you're covered. Oh, it's a tiny bit. I forgot I made this a little bigger. You know, that's not going to work. I'm going to have to remount that onto something substantial. Oh, well, we're going to just go with it for now, and then I'll fix it later so that I don't have to take the time to do that with you. So we do not have movers insurance because Jeff and I are doing it all on our own. But on the other hand, I thought, hmm, actually, we're going to be gone. You know, we're going to go quite a while, and we're gonna, it's going to take us a whole week to get over there. Maybe we want movers insurance. We might. We might. So it was good to see that. Um, they it said that they do it themselves. Ha <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, doing it yourself. I wish we could afford to have somebody move. I don't want to shell out the ten thousand bucks it would take us to have somebody do it for us. So we are doing it ourselves. We are. I hope that's over far enough. It might not be. Might have to move my succulents just a bit to make sure I have room for that there. So that is a mistake, but we're making that mistake deliberately, and I'm, I'm sure we'll regret it, but we're going to do it anyway. And then one of the other ones was um, they take, they don't leave enough time to pack, but then also the alternative was also very common where people start packing too early, and they pack everything, and then they have to get stuff out because they've got it all packed, <laughs> you know pretty funny. So that, I thought that's more like what I've been having to kick myself in the side to not pack. I fortunately have been busy doing other things. Like I want to get packed so I don't have to worry about it at the last minute. Okay, there we go. And then we'll just put one on the middle here. Just because I'm not sure about the evenness of what I'm doing. 
Let's see, up high, up low. I think we'll stick the low right there. Oh, cute. All right, so other than the fact that we have to remount it because it's hanging over the edge, because I forgot I made it slightly bigger. Other than that, isn't that cute? Now, um, Tammy's design had the word um, happy. She did this for a Mother's Day. So she had Mother's Day in small letters down here, probably like uh, itty bitty greetings. And then she'd taken she'd taken uh, one of the little dies, the word wishes dies, uh, and did a black happy and had it like here, which was really cute. You could even do happy as a stamp and do a black embossed happy, kind of like more on that and do happy mother's day it was a really cute card i liked it so i thought you guys would enjoy it and i appreciate your watching here with me today all right we'll try to flip the camera and see if it manages to survive the process it did yay i'm always like a midget down here a little tiny tiny kid because my um my camera arm goes down fine, but it, it's reluctant to come back into position. <laughs> so I always feel like a really little kid when you're a giant. You're my teacher up there, a giant teacher. All right, thank you for watching so much. Make sure you share the video. I appreciate that so much. And I will be here next week, I believe. Uh, we're going to have a house appraisal at some point. And once that happens... I might be gone here and there because I have a lot of family to visit before we leave this area and a couple of friends that um, live a couple hours away from me. So anyway, I need to do some of that stuff. So I might be a little bit of a hit and miss. I hope not because I am going to love doing this stuff with a new catalog. I've been hardly, hardly, hardly resisting. I think I did a, something with that etched in nature, but I've got a couple other things on hand. I just haven't um, done a lot with them yet publicly, and I'm waiting, waiting for that catalog to come live so that I can get it, get it out, out to you so you can be excited about it too. There's some really nice things, but anyway, I hope you enjoy the day, and um, we will try it again next week. Thanks a lot. Bye.